Alright. What's good? This is Mark Beats of Triple Eight Music. This is my first time making one of these videos, so you know what's what's your excuse? Excuse the, the lagging, excuse the background noise, excuse any pauses, excuse da da da. I don't wanna hear all them comments or read all them comments. I just want y'all to see what's going on. So this thing right here, this is logic, of course. But this video is for the, the chord memorizer. I don't know if anybody uses a chord memorizer, but I heard about this thing a little while ago. And I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I, fi I finally figured out how to do it. And when I figured out how to do it, and that's not what this video is about. What I, when I figured out how to do it was I wanted all the chords and all the scales and all the notes. You know, you get greedy sometimes. You hear one sound and you want them all type deal. But I couldn't find anybody who had them, even a template that I could like buy online or something. So I had to sit there and make my own. It's a lot, like, hours of research. I don't play the piano or anything. So I had to figure out how to do the notes and everything myself. So what I got here, these are just some of my favorite chord progressions. But here, uh, first of all, a chord memorizer is where you can play a chord with one note. So what I did was take all the scales of all the notes um, with three note chord scales and four note chord scales, including the sharps, three note and four note sharp scales and made a preset with them so I'm not I could be the last person to go completely crazy trying to figure this out and trying to get one so I just did the hard work myself and so basically I got the template and I want to show you it works if anybody was interested which I which I was so so right now I got uh, send length loaded Let's use that because a lot of people who got logic usually has some. And this is like a pan flute. Whatever. So, right now, that's how it's playing. So, say I wanted to use a chord, but I don't know how to do the chord. So, I got all the chords loaded. And so, you make an instance. Right click, and you go to mixer. In the mixer, I got I already have everything loaded in this preset. All the chords, the ones and twos. One means that's a A minor, that's an A major, and one is three note chords. Two is A major, four note chords, and then like your A S major is A sharp major. Four note chords, three note chords, so forth and so on, with all the, with all of them. As you see. So let's say I wanted to do, I don't know, B major one. That's a B major three note chord scale progressions. So you got the whole scale progression. So right now, this is still playing like this. And this is not playing at all. What you have to do is link it to this to this instrument. You gotta link this. That's the little brown box, that's a, that means it's a chord memorizer that you set up. So you go here, you find B major one. And it just happens to be right here. And you link it to your instrument. Then you go back. And this is still playing like this because you have to be on here to actually hear it. You got to be on the um, the mixer. I mean, so you got the whole thing. lagging so my timing is off I'm just messing around um so now you see that it works how to record it you just hit record you can hit record right on here I gotta take this away hit record and then you're done now it's recorded And you 
can see the notes right in here. And right there, it only shows dagger, you know, little thing thing. So what you got to do to be able to do that is to make another instance. I always use software instrument. Create. What's lagging? And then you right click. You go to uh no you don't even go to mix you go to no input or no output and so you uh before you record to be able to record it you gotta make it um you gotta go to edit or is it new it's new and you go to sequence sequencer input. Put it way up there for some reason. But with the sequencer input, that'll take your Corbin riser and run it through here. So you want to take this, the second arrow on your whatever note you pick, and bring it to that. And boom, you linked. And all you got to do from there is press record. Got it. Boom. And you double click on there. Now you got the whole. So now you could play around with it. But since it's lagging, it doesn't want to let me do what I'm trying to do. It doesn't lag. It's no, like this bad. It's just because this video. I don't know what to change. I don't feel like figuring it out. Then you take that, and you could like if you want the actual notes, then you could just delete the the first one you recorded, and just bring this up here, and now. Well, simple as that. So, now that you see it works, and I, you got now I have all of the chords and progressions, and anything you would need or want to never have to learn a chord in your life <laughs> if you don't want to. It just makes it faster. This is why I did it. Just a long process that I only had to do once to have it forever. So, if you want the template, hit me up. Leave, uh, uh, hit my inbox. Email me, whatever. Twitter. Let me know you want it. I am selling it, so let me know. It's so worth the money. I'm telling you, if you try to do it yourself, it'll be all day. And I have to give a shout out. Shout out Triple Eight Music. This is Josh Mitchell. Here's the actual file right here. So, you know, I got it. Um, and shout out to Josh Mitchell. Lifetime's Living. That's on that piff right now. The Iliad by MC Bravado is on iTunes. And Cove Chronicles of the Average Failure by Fonte Cruz is on that piff dot com right now go cop those hit me up if you need this template this is mark beats from triple eight music and i'm out comment subscribe like all that good stuff peace